Have you ever come across saying be agile before? If we take a look at the dictionary about agile, we will find that it means able to move quickly and easily. Now, why would you want to be able to move quickly and easily? Because being able to move quickly and easily or being agile is crucial in many aspects of life and work. Think about it like this. Imagine you are faced with a rapidly changing situation or a new opportunity arises. If you're agile, you can adapt swiftly and seize that opportunity before it passes. It enables you to respond effectively to challenges, capitalize on emerging trends, and stay ahead of the competition. It's not just about speed. It's also about flexibility and efficiency, allowing you to navigate uncertain terrain with confidence and achieve your goals more effectively. So in this video, you will find out how it all started and who can benefit by using Agile. Now let's see how it all started. So it all started with tech industry, where traditional methodologies often struggled to keep pace with evolving requirements and customer needs. But it doesn't stop there. So a group of visionary practitioners come together in 2001 to redefine the approach to software development. This collaboration resulted in what is known now as Agile Manifesto, a document that outlined as a set of guiding principles to enable teams to deliver high-quality software more effectively and responsibly. The necessity to articulate such document stemmed from the recognition of the limitations of traditional waterfall methodologies. These methodologies, characterized by rigid planning and sequential execution, often led to languid development cycles, lack of adaptability to changing requirements, and ultimately suboptimal outcomes for both developers and customers. So the Agile Manifesto was initially crafted to develop these shortcomings within the software development industry. However, int principles proved to be so universally applicable and transformative that they are transcended the realm of software and began to find resonance across diverse industries. Enterprises outside of uh, software development soon recognizes that the value of Agile principles in fostering innovation, enhancing customer satisfaction, and enabling rapid response to market dynamics, from manufacturing to marketing, to healthcare to hospitality. Organizations across sectors begin embracing Agile methodologies to drive efficiency, flexibility, and customer centricity. The agility inherent in Agile methodologies empowers team to iterate quickly, gather feedback iteratively, and adapt their approach in real time. This iterative and incremental approach fosters continuous improvement and enables organizations to stay ahead in today's fast-paid competitive environment. Now, the application of Agile principles is extended beyond traditional industries into new domain, including education. So recognizing the need for more responsive and engaging educational system that provides greater value to students, educators are starting to leverage Agile values and practices to revolutionize teaching and learning. Okay? So if you are intrigued by the potential of Agile in education, find the link in the description to reimagine learning for the future. Okay, now let's dive into one audio-only segment from this course about Agile Manifest. I'll see you inside. In 2001, a group of visionary software developers gathered to pioneer a shift in software development, and they created the Agile Manifesto a simple framework built on four values and 12 principles designed to infuse agility into the software development process. And the Agile Manifesto is available here and I encourage you to go later after the lecture to go to visit this web address. But the, the magic of Agile didn't stop there. 
it didn't just change how we made software, it also changed other things like computers, cars, medical stuff, food, clothing, music, and so on and so forth. But most importantly, it allows the education industry to become alive. All right? If that's okay with you, now let's talk about these Agile values and principles. And after that, I will explain what I think Agile really means. Okay? In these Agile values and principles, they often mention the word software. But here's the cool part. Other industries just like I mentioned, are switching it up to make sense for them. So we can change the software to something like lecture, like class, or whatever fits best for us. Well, it's easy, right? So let's begin with this in mind, okay? So, Agile values. First, individuals and interactions over processes and tools. In the old days, everything was about following a set of processes. One example is the waterfall metal method, which has a strict step-by-step -step way of doing things. But you know what? Strict process cannot predict every problem that might come up. Real creativity comes from people being free to think and share ideas. That's why Agile thinks individuals and how they interact are super important. So in our course, you will get to see how awesome teamwork and sharing ideas can be. It's like a magic key that unlocks cool and creative teaching and learning strategies. Okay, Agile principle number two, working software over comprehensive documents or documentation. If you remember, you can always change the word software with something more appropriate to you. Now let's talk about the documentation. It's like a lot of big chunk of project time. But you know, Agile thinks there's a better way. Instead of spending too much time on paperwork, it focuses on getting actual work done. So in our course, we are all about that. You will see a shift from lots of documentation to real-life applications. The idea is to bring quick value to your students. Number three, customer collaboration over contract negotiation. In the old way of doing things, customers were mainly involved at the start, during contract talks, and then at the very end of the project, and that led to lots of problems. It causes misunderstandings because the customer needs might change during the project and waiting until the end to get their inputs means that final product often didn't match what they really wanted. But Agile has a different idea. It wanted customers and collaborations to be involved all the time. So you as an educator play the customer role here. Your teamwork with your students is super important. And you'll figure out how to welcome these ideas and guides the teaching and learning journey in the best way. This ensures that what you provide really fits their needs. And the final Agile value is responding to change over following a plan. Agile likes being flexible. We being, begin with a plan, but we are cool with changing it along the way. Plans cannot predict everything that might happen during a project. In education, just like in Agile, we see change as a good thing. It's not a problem. It's the chance to add more value. So in this course, you will see how awesome it is to adapt to change. This helps your teaching methods grow and match what your students really need. Okay? All right. So we just talked about four important things called Agile values. All right, that wraps up this video. Make sure to stay tuned and subscribe to this channel because in the next video, we will delve into the 12 Agile principles that complement these four Agile values. If you're curious about what's included in the course for teachers, be sure to click the link in the description below. I trust this video has been helpful and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.